What's up you guys? This is Jay Boss and welcome to my channel. Tiptoe, tiptoe, fucking on your bitch, you gotta tiptoe. Fucking in your crib, gotta tiptoe. I know where you live, gotta think slow. Got the murder piece in my right hand. I know I had it on the same shirt that I had in my last video. This one because I did the, the videos back to back. This is going to be the story of how I became a lash tech. And I'm really make it hopefully I don't skip any parts. So please just follow the stories because sometimes I may, I may jump here and there because my mom be all over the place. But I went to school and I was going to a lash tech in Montgomery. She was really, really well known in Montgomery and she did a really good job. This was my first time getting eyelash extensions. And also eyelash extensions were kind of like new at the time. Wasn't nobody really getting them like that. People was like, you know, getting stripped and getting individual. So I ended up, I got some and I really liked them. I really liked them. They, made my, they brought out my face. These were like the natural kind. They weren't nothing that was like big and thick. No. These were like just natural, really natural, nothing too long, anything like that. So, as I started to, when I started getting eyelash extensions, like, I didn't get a maintenance. I just let them fall all off, and then I'll go get back and get some more. Like, that's just what I did. So, as I started liking lashes, I started to look at other people's work, and I was like, wow, like, you do, they do like a really good job. I'm not going to say any names in this video, because I don't want to bash anybody. But if you're my, my client or my student, like, some of y'all know is that's so what I'm talking I ended about. up going anyway. to Atlanta to get my lashes done. Um, just because I wanted to, everybody knows like when you start to get lashes, like you may start off with a natural set, but then like eventually like you're going to go to something next. You feel me? And the girl in Montgomery, like she only did natural, like that's, that's the only thing she did. She didn't do volume, none of that. That's the only thing she did was natural. And I'm going to Atlanta and I got my lashes done by this girl and she was just so ghetto. Mind y'all, the last tick that I went to in Montgomery, she had a nice, really, really nice suite. It was really quiet. I went to sleep. You know, the room smelled nice. Like, you know, like it was really nice. The one in Atlanta was like a trap house. It was like trap music. Her hands smelled like weed. Um, she was just really ghetto. And she did my lashes too quick. I didn't have time to take a nap or anything. And my eyes burned like crazy. Like it burned like crazy. And she didn't even have a fan. Trash. So I didn't like, I didn't really like my lashes because I felt them on my eyes. And when I say I felt them, I don't mean like they were so long I felt them. No, like I felt like I could feel myself blinking. Like even now, like I can't even feel my lashes. The only time I feel my lashes is when I lift my eyes up because they touch my eyebrows. But I didn't like them. Like they hurt. Like when I blinked, like they hurt. Like they was heavy. I didn't like that. It wasn't even volumes. I think I got, got I can't remember what kind of set I got. It wasn't volume lashes though. I didn't like them. So I was like, oh my God, like. I don't never go back to her again. So I had called my boyfriend at the time. I was like, yo, I'm going to become a lash tech. When I graduate from college, I, I'm going to just do lashes, you know. So I was going to do lashes. Like, So I started to look up, um, you know, different lash techs. Like, this is when I really started getting interested in it. So I was looking up different lash techs, the kind of lashes, you know what I'm saying? So I seen this one lady. And I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to put her on blast. I this one lady work and her work looked amazing. Now, I was a lot of teachers who felt like their work was really, really good. But her work was, like, amazing. Like, her work looked so good. And so, I was like, dang, like, I want to learn from her. Like, I want to learn from her. Because she had hashtag Atlanta. So, I'm like, let me see if she comes to Atlanta. So, I ended up writing her. Hey, I wrote her nicely. Remember that? I wrote her nicely. Hey, my name is Jasmine. I'm looking on your page. I love your work. I want to know, do you travel to Atlanta? I want to take a lash class from you and only you. That's what I said. She didn't write me back. She told me yes, that she does. She told me when she'll be in Atlanta. She told me that she would do a one-on-one -on -one with me for $850. I said, cool. I want to do it. Because I was serious. This is something I really, really want to do. I know I'm going to take it serious. I know I can be good. Because the reason why I said I knew I was going to be good because I'm, I'm a professional person. I feel like I have good customer service most of the time. I have really good customer service. So I was like, okay, I really want to do it. Okay, so I got the money for the class. And so I went to the class. The class was in a hotel room. It was in um, the Hilton in Atlanta, matter of fact. Really, really nice hotel. And um, I was just so excited, so excited. I met her. She was really cool, really sweet. Um, took the class. And when I left, I didn't learn anything. I was so lost. 
I didn't get a mannequin head to take home, get a lash bed. I lasted for five hours. And now that, like, now that I'm, you know, kind of more knowledgeable about lashes, like, I know I got ripped off. But, like, at the time, I felt like I didn't. I felt like it was a good price. I felt like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really didn't think of it was that bad. But now that I am, you know more into it i was like oh i got scammed i got ripped off <laughs> i got ripped off period i didn't get anything all that guy was a kid to take home that was it just a kid no mannequin head no lash bed no nothing i had a manual and that was it oh and it was a live model class so i practiced on somebody um but like i said the class was like five hours long i felt really really lost um i kind of felt like i wasted my money i didn't feel confident so I ended up having a lash bed like maybe a couple days after. I told one of my friends, I don't, and I didn't have friends like that. So I called one of my friends and she knew I was taking a class. So I called her, I was like, hey, I have my lash bed like I'm ready to practice on you. She said, okay. She came to my house and I um, I practiced on her and I did a horrible job. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I did two, and I was, it was two hours. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did so bad. And my friend like, she was so supportive. So she's like, no, it's not that bad. Like, it's not that bad. Like, it'll be okay. You know, um, just keep working. So, I didn't keep working. So, it was maybe like, I took the class like in June. Like, I think maybe July I did the next person that I did. Like, my second person. The little like trash. I didn't like it. I had did her sister. And I had did my other friend. That I had did my friend again. So, my job, this is two people. So, I practiced on my friend. I'm going to just say names. I practiced on my friend, Kiki. Then I practiced on her sister, Lex. I practiced again on Kiki. Matter of fact, I think I did them the same day. I think I did them two the same day. And they were in college, so... Around this time, they were, like, getting ready to go back to school. Because, like I said, I wasn't practicing like that. And so then, I practiced on my mom. I practiced on my mom. So, that's three people. My mom. Kiki, Lex, Kiki, and my mom. Her, them. I did my other friend. Her name is Kiki. I had Kiki again before she went back to school. So, that's total of five people. I just did not know who to practice on. Like, I just didn't feel, like... I didn't feel confident. So, um, I ended up meeting my, one of my old friends from high school. Um, he was a really, really known makeup artist. I hate, like, you know, what you got going on. Because, like I said, I wasn't, like, popular like that. So, I told him what I was doing. He was like, okay, like, you can come practice on me. Because I didn't have people to practice on like that. So, I went and I practiced on him. And, you know, he made me a post. And so, like, he made a post saying that I was trying to have people to, to practice on as time goes on during this time okay let me rewind while i was doing them at my house on the people that i knew knew for real, like the people that i know i was contacting people so i could find a shop to work in and a lot of people rejected me they didn't want me working in their shop uh, or maybe they just did never responded they didn't respond did, to me um to my emails on my phone calls so my friend tired. I forgot. I don't know why I forgot. She, her mom owned a shop. Um, her mom was like, of course, like you can work in my shop, you know. And she told my boo friend, of course, that was something that I could work with. Me being new, so boom. So when he made the post, um, I had people somewhere for them to come. Because I didn't want people in my house. So I brought all my stuff to the shop. I had it set up really, really nice. And so I started having people to practice on. Once I had started, once I had people to practice on, I realized that like, I still didn't like the way my lashes look, and I'm all about being different. So I took a refresher course um, from a lady in Atlanta, and it was like amazing. I learned so much. When I tell y'all, like I took a whole nother class. So that means I believe so much in myself that investing more money was okay, even though I wasted literally eight hundred fifty dollars. Like it was wasted. Like, ugh. I still believed in myself, and I still invested more money took another class it was four hundred dollars and it helped me a lot it helped me with my timing it helped me learn bottoms it helped me with isolation it helped me better with seeing it helped me with things to help me lash faster like all that so the money was well well invested as i started to go a lot my clients took out more and more and more because i was the only person in my city had that they did bottom lashes period then I was like, okay, like, I feel like I'm ready to learn volume lashes because my isolation is getting better. I'm practicing on people. I'm making money, doing lashes. Okay, so now it's time for me to invest more money into my education. And you got to understand, like, when you want more, what you want, the more you spend, the more you have to go harder. So, um, I took a volume class and I learned how to do volume lashes and volumes were very hard for me to get down. So, I had made a post about, matter of fact, let me cut that. 
Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did made a post. I made a post that I want to try volumes on somebody, and I had my very first girl to do volumes on, and still to this day she called me girl about her lashes done. She's like everybody's favorite client. So I post a video. Um, I post a picture. And then so I did my volumes on. She's still my client to this day. And people, what I like, want to tell everybody, like, remember everybody who's down with you from day one. Because not only did she try them, she paid for them. I charged her $100 and she paid $100 for her lashes and she liked them. And she stuck with them and she stuck with me. And that's loyalty. So once I learned how to do volume lashes, um, it was kind of like, you know, on and popping. I learned how to do volumes and think about me, I'm all about being different. So I started ordering different curls, different limbs, and you know, making them fuller and going harder. Um, every time I had a client to come in, I always wanted to try something different. And people would like it. When I posted on Instagram, people would like it. Um, that's how I became a lash tech. <laughs> but I didn't include in the story how of course, there were times that I didn't want to lash anymore. Maybe because I didn't have enough clients that week. Maybe because my lashes didn't come out. It was a set that didn't come out as good. Maybe because um, a client wasn't happy with their lashes. Like, all these things are going to happen. But to believe in yourself and keep going. Everything is not going to be perfect all the time. But the key is to keep going. And that's what I really want to push to everybody. Like, just keep going. Keep trying. Keep going harder. Like, if you want it, go harder. The more you want, the more you have to go hard. And if you want people to really support you, you have to have good quality stuff. Like, I had good customer service. You know, I had a, a setting where people felt comfortable. I, my lashes looked different. So, people was like, you know, they like that. So, <sighs> my story of how I became a lash tech. Yeah, how I became a traveling lash tech, that's a whole different, it's a whole different, uh, story. so, thank you guys for watching, um, and this is Dead Back Care Company, y'all can follow on Instagram, and this is also my lash strip, and they are 25, and I also added volume to them, if you would like to purchase these, you can purchase these on my website, really, really, okay, I'll see you guys in my next video.